Emmy Awards 2016. 5 Things to Look For at the Ceremony Los Angeles, free of the controversy that overshadowed this year's Academy Award and its lineup of all wide acting nominees, the 68th Primetime Emmys arrived on ABC on Sunday night with the focus squarely on the awards at a time when there's never been more competition in TV. Will both Game of Thrones and Veep repeat for Best Drama and Best Comedy? Their favorites. Will FX is the people the O.J. Simpson and its star-studded cast come close to sweeping all the limited series categories? Very possibly. And will Netflix benefit from this year's presidential election and finally break through in the top acting categories for Kevin Spacey and Robin Wright in House of Cards, maybe? Oh, and just how much will the show's host, Jimmy Kimmel, address the election and its sometimes nasty overtones at what is supposed to be a, mostly, feel-good celebration about television. Here are five things to look for at this year's Emmys ceremony. The Emmys tend to find winners and cling to them for years, Jim Parsons, Modern Family, Alice and Jenny, which is what made last year's first time victory for both Game of Thrones and Veep in the Best Drama and Best Comedy category so refreshing. Macy Williams, Center, in Game of Thrones. Ms. Williams was nominated for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series for her role as Arya Stark. Credit Bo, by Associated Press new voting rules help secure their victories. Everyone in the Television Academy, which organizes the Emmys, can now vote in the top categories, instead of just members of the closed-off committee. But the question looming over Sunday's selection is, whether their victories usher in a new era of unpredictability, or whether Emmy voters have simply found new thoroughbreds to ride. There is some good news for those rivals. Next year, Game of Thrones, one of the most widely praised dramas, will not be eligible for the Emmys. The network elected to start the show's seventh season next summer, outside of the Emmy eligible window. Though the Emmys are usually numbingly predictable, two categories seem very much up for grabs, and they are big ones, Best Actor and Best Actress in a Drama. Will Viola Davis repeat her victory last year for How to Get Away with Murder when she became the first African-American woman to win in that category, or, with politics in the air, will Ms. Wright's portrayal of the vice presidential candidate Claire Underwood result in her first primetime Emmy? What the Emmys got right? And from the television critics James Ponewazic, Mike Hale and Neil Jensliner evaluate the 2016 Primetime Emmy nominations. The Best Actor category, in which the prize went last year to John Hamm, whose Don Draper character in Mad Men is now retired, is wide open. The three top contenders are the newcomer Rami Malek for his role as a hacker in Mr. Robot and two veterans. Kevin Spacey as President Frank Underwood in House of Cards and Bob Odenkirk in Better Call Saul. None has won an acting Emmy. One other open question, will Emmy voters give any love to Downton Abbey, which completed its final season this year? It's up for drama but its best chance for a win is in the Best Supporting Actress in a Drama category, with Maggie Smith. The comedy talk show space has never been more crowded, and even with diminished ratings, the spotlight can still be awfully bright, just ask Jimmy Fallon, who was criticized for his Tonight Show interview with Donald J. Trump on Thursday. Comedy Central has dominated the variety show category, winning for 13 consecutive years with The Daily Show and The Colbert Report. Not this year, Trevor Noah, Jon Stewart's replacement, was shut out of the race in his first year as The Daily Show host. The favorite to win is John Oliver for his show show last week tonight, now in its third season. It would be a breakthrough of sorts, the Emmy for Variety Show has been handed out to daily talk shows for years, and hasn't been given to a weekly show since Tracy Ullman won for her sketch series Tracy Takes on nearly 20 years ago. 
Starting last year, Variety Sketch Series and Variety Talk Series were separated into different categories. Other nominees include the newcomer James Corden, though, notably, not his CBS colleague Stephen Colbert, and late-night veterans including Mr. Kimmel, Mr. Fallon, Bill Mayer and Jerry Seinfeld, for comedians in cars getting coffee. FX is the People v. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story was a ratings hit and critics darling, but it was still an open question as to whether that would translate that into big wins at the Emmys. Sarah Paulson as Marsha Clark and Sterling K. Brown as Christopher Darden in The People v. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story, on FX. Credit Ray Mitchell slash FX nearly every feature player for the limited series scored a nomination, including Sarah Paulson, Cuba Gooding Jr., Courtney B. Vance, Sterling K. Brown, John Travolta and David Schwimmer. Ms. Paulson has been nominated for an Emmy six times and is looking for her first win. Her possible good luck charm? She's bringing the former prosecutor Marsha Clark whom she portrayed in the 10 episode series, as her date. For FX, the Emmy glow extends beyond the O Point J series. Fargo is also nominated in the limited series category and is vying to claim its second victory in three years. And after years of being shut out, FX is critically praised the Americans finally broke through with three major nominations, Best Drama, Best Actor, Matthew Rise, and Best Actress, Kerry Russell. Bo has an early lead, after the Creative Arts Emmys were handed up last weekend, but FX is not far behind. Bo has won 16 so far compared with FX's 12. And there is a possibility, though remote, that FX could catch Bo, which has won the most Emmys of any network for 14 consecutive years. The Oscars have been the subject of withering outrage the last two years for a lack of racial diversity in the acting categories. The Emmys? There's been something closer to silence. No one would argue that TV has fully addressed the issue of race. It has a problem when it comes to tapping minorities behind the scenes, as the Directors Guild of America reported last week, and CBS was criticized in August for a full lineup featuring familiar white male actors. But nearly two dozen minority actors are nominated for Emmys this year, following Ms. Davis's acting victory a year ago. Instead, attention has turned to the awards themselves, with campaigning having turned into something of a blood sport. In the last two years there has been a 40% increase in the number of submissions for the Best Drama Emmy, according to the Television Academy. And for your consideration mailers have reached comical proportions, with Netflix sending out a package to Emmy voters so hefty that it could crush a toe. But even if the industry is in a locked battle, that interest isn't necessarily spreading to the public. The Emmys broadcast had its lowest ratings ever last year, following a trend for other award shows. For each of the last three years, streaming services like Netflix and Amazon have been getting close to breaking through at the Emmys. Netflix had 54 nominations this year, its highest ever, and for the first time, it did better than any of the broadcast networks. Pity ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox, their presence gets smaller each year. But when it comes to the major awards, the streaming services are having a harder time of it. Jeffrey Tambor did win Best Actor in a comedy last year for his role as a transgender woman in Amazon's Transparent. And last year, Netflix had one victory in the major awards, with Yuzo Aguba taking Best Supporting Actress in a Drama for her role, as Crazy Eyes in Orange is the New Black. But Miss Aguba was not even nominated this year, and Netflix in previous years has struck out in all the other top awards, Best Drama, Best Comedy, Best Actor and Actress in a Comedy or Drama. Mr. Spacey and Ms. Wright have the chance to change that on Sunday. 
Netflix could also hope for victories, however unlikely, from House of Cards in the drama category and Master of None and Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt in comedy.